Hi everyone, welcome back with another vlog. We had few days off as a part of Saudi National Day. Kids had no school from Friday till Monday. And there were a lot of programs here in Riyadh, not just Riyadh, all over Saudi. As it was off days, few clips taken here and there. Hope you would like it. So on Friday late night, we thought to have a drive. We had very light lunch that day, just a juice. And I'm not sure if all know, Albik Brost is one of the famous Brost in Saudi. It wasn't available in Riyadh when I had come here first time. But I had already known the taste when we had gone to Makkah and Jeddah from Dubai before shifting to Riyadh. So we know it well. I think in Riyadh it just recently got opened and it's a bit far from the city. So thought to have a drive till there. The only drawback was that there wasn't enough space inside for the families to sit and have the food. But that doesn't stop the families in coming. We had our dinner inside the car. These are fish nuggets and that's my favorite. You get chicken as well. There are lots of families out there. They bring mats, lay them on the ground and enjoy with their bunch of friends and families. On Saturday, we decided to eat out completely. Every day we eat our traditional breakfast, lunch and dinner. So thought to have something traditional of the country on that day. And on this day for dinner, we were invited at our friend's house. I hope you remember them seeing in one of my videos, a chef at a palace. You can see them in the later part. And that's my favorite ring that I wear these days. I had in fact forgotten it in my cabinet last year vacation, so got it this time. I have a few favorites in my ring collection. Howsoever the ring looks old, faded, or if stones have fallen off, I keep it with me still. I can't throw them away. And then we leave. And that's my abaya onto which a makeover was done. I had even shown it in one of my videos. Now we were not sure of a proper place where we could get traditional food yet not very expensive too. We had called upon few of our Arab friends and unfortunately nobody answered that moment as it was an off day and they all were asleep. And nothing much were open on the streets we were passing. As we were getting really hungry, finally got into a restaurant that was open and that was Shawarma House. They have varieties of shawarma dishes and the price wasn't that high though. That's Kingdom Tower but not with a good view. Now that's Fool, one of the traditional dishes with red beans I guess and it tastes really good. That's Shawarma Salad with lots of iceberg lettuce and few chicken pieces with shawarma sauce. This is spiced potato and that's shawarma fries with lots of cheese in it. And then we moved from there. We had a bit of shopping, so towards Lulu. I wanted a hand cream to keep in my handbag. My hands tend to dry very fast, so got into caramel bath and body. There was some offers going on as National Day special, so picked a few.
we had to visit a little girl who was just six months old, our friend's daughter. So some pretty dresses for the little one. National Day vibe all over the place. National Day was on Monday, but celebrations had begun a couple of days back already. Now we had already visited our friend's house. I hadn't taken any videos from there just to give the baby her privacy. We spent some time having a good chat. And they were shifting to Jeddah next day. So we then left not taking out a lot of their time as they would have a lot of works to be done. Lunch we had a little late as breakfast was heavy. So our lunch was around 3 to 4 something. And that's another favorite place, Romancia. Here we get one of the best Arab rice dishes. There are cabins where you can sit on the floor and there are cabins even with chairs and tables but it's always good to sit, relax and enjoy the dish. Here food doesn't take long time to arrive too. We mainly order two rice dishes each half a portion. The white rice named Madhvi is the best. It might not look appealing or tasty but once you taste it, I guess you would never go without ordering that. The yellow one is Madhut and even that tastes equally good. The white rice has grilled chicken and the other one is boiled and it's cooked in pressure cooker. So the chicken is really soft. These are wine leaves. Me, my husband and Rihan loves it. We were actually stuffed but to show you all our favorite sweets that we order here. That's kunafa, the round one with cheese stuffed in it. But this is what I love the most, it's omali. Later that day, kids had badminton coaching. So as I would be alone at home, I thought why not go gym to work out. Dinner again would be filling, so a little workout would definitely be satisfying. And then off we go. On that day had Zumba and toning classes and that was a good workout. And we are back home. And lime soda. That's my husband who is preparing himself. He adds a bit of chili for a kick in the drink. It's really a refreshing one but I wanted passion fruit soda. This passion fruit squash was bought from Kerala this vacation and it's almost over. This was recommended by my brother-in-law Shimin and it's really refreshing. Now earlier I had mentioned about our friend to whose house we were invited for dinner. He is a chef at a palace here in Riyadh. They had come over to visit us at our new home in Kerala and that was really a happy moment for us. He then gave me a food magazine that was famous in Kerala. An article about him and his recipes were included. I shall try out and upload in my videos soon. I had asked him the recipes earlier hence he gave me this book and told all the recipes are in here. And we are ready to go.
as he is working at a palace he would be late to come home so around 10 there was fireworks held near to where we stay so we thought to go there as it would be exciting for the kids fireworks were held in three locations and luckily one was just 5 to 6 minutes away from where we stay Before going their house we thought to shop some sweets or cake for them as their kids would be really happy. This is another such pastry shop Sadadin where delicious sweets and cakes are sold. Lots and lots of cheesecakes, pastries, chocolates packed in gift wraps and many other. Every building and other has a green color on it indicating the color of Saudi flag. finally at their residence they stay near the palace where he works but can't take a video of the palace there's tight security and they got huge gates and walls so it isn't easy to even get a sneak peek he had prepared dishes that they hadn't brought home that day so these are different ones this rice dish is named makluba and tasted too good It's basically layered rice. They fry all the vegetables and even the chicken pieces and layer it in between rice. It's like how we layer a biryani but taste is entirely different. There's lots of vegetables in it. He says in fact this dish tastes the best the next day by steaming. And that's chef's wife's special prawns idiyappam biryani. Among the Arabic dishes getting a taste of our Kerala dish is really something satisfying and this too was delicious. This is kapsa makrona pasta or macaroni made in kapsa style. This was Arman's favorite. Two different soups, creamy corn and the other one again a traditional one shorba. And this one is named kebab hindi. Now this is tabola a salad using parsley leaves. I used to make this at home long time back. It's one of our favorite. And finally the kava. I was not a fan of kava nor dates and these are fresh ones from the farm, organic of course. But now I love kava and dates, which only now knew how it has to be eaten. The kava and dates combination is the best. And that's again her special dessert, panna cotta. They gave us these air packed dates and that was lovely for her to give these fresh flowers and then we left after a wonderful night. My morning began with dates and kava and I have it every morning then. Each item has its own mismatches and combinations. And we get to know about these from people who know the better lifestyle of the country. On Sunday my husband had office and that's a video clip he took at his office. I thought to make something sweet and this was suggested by one of my friends and the recipe is from another friend it's milk cake i guess it can be made in different ways i found this really easy one firstly preparing the baking dish spreading butter and flour I took 6 eggs for this. You can reduce to 4 or 5 if you wish, but since no baking powder is used, eggs do the lifting. Now, I didn't have vanilla essence with me to get rid of the egg smell from the cake, but I had heard that the white part is what gives that smell. 
don't know what it's called heard it's like the umbilical cord though everything was removed there was a bit smell still so i would highly recommend adding 1 teaspoon vanilla essence if you don't like the egg smell beat well with half cup sugar till it's a pale color sift around 170 grams of flour and fold in little at a time not all together fold in till it's well combined and pour it into the baking dish give a light tap few times to release any air bubbles bake for 25 minutes at 180 degrees celsius and while that's baking making a creamy liquid to pour over that's 1 cup milk then to this add 1 tin condensed milk i had added 160 ml of evaporated milk but i forgot to switch on my camera now if you don't have this you can add heavy cream and that's done while still warm poke holes slowly with a fork or skewer and pour the syrup don't add all of it just half the mixture the cake would soak in the milk and become really juicy let it cool down and then refrigerate for at least 1 hour add 1 or 2 cups of whipping cream into a bowl and whisk well till thick and while whipping if you want you may add half cup powdered sugar i skipped this to lessen the sweetness but i would highly recommend if you are preparing this for any parties or to serve your guest i got this from lulu long time back but never used as i am not an expert in cake baking neither interested much so just bought this in case i would need any time the only drawback is that you will need to keep filling it after a bit of frosting garnishing with pistachios and now while serving pour the cream and have along with it my family is a big fan of this cake now but for me i can't tolerate the smell much next time would definitely add vanilla essence it's a very soft and juicy cake and that was my dinner tabola that they had packed and gave us the previous night i have seen people having it this way Ever since then I love to have it adding on to the lettuce leaf. You get that crunch of the lettuce along with it. Don't know if you can see the fireworks. We could see it from our window. It's a bit far but it's the same place we had gone the previous day. There were lots of events held all over Saudi but we were not sure what were in Riyadh. But came to know about air show on the national day. It was at 4:30 until 5:20. I was not aware of the location. Anyway, we had some grocery shopping at Lulu, so finished off that first. Then later got the location of the air show from a website, and the Google map showed that we would reach there only around 5. Anyway, moved to us location. Just like us, they too are on the way. and it had already started finally got a spot to park i had seen air shows while i was in qatar along with my parents when i was a kid but then never so one later now it's time for my kids to enjoy such
It was almost 5.15 so we moved back. Saudi flags flew all around. Rihan had been asking me to prepare this dip from a very long time. It's guacamole. We had bought this avocado while shopping for Onam Satya, but I had totally forgotten that this was lying in the fridge. Scrape out the flesh from it completely. Powder 1 teaspoon cumin seeds and some salt. I added Himalayan pink salt. I crushed them in my mortar and pestle. Chop one small onion. Add juice of half a lemon and break them into chunks with a fork. Add the chopped onion. Then you need one tomato. Take out the juicy pulp from it and chop into bit pieces. Then a few chopped coriander leaves, add the cumin salt mix, mix well and for a bit of spiciness I added red chilli flakes. Mix well and time for serving. I added some olive oil on top which is completely optional. Have it with some corn or tortilla chips. And that ends today's video. Hope you enjoyed watching it. Don't forget to like and subscribe. See you soon with another video. Until then, take care. Bye-bye.